send me this package. What I'm calling a late Christmas present. I got this, and I got this awesome Ted Lasso hoodie, and I got a uh, little night light for my toilet, which I'm not gonna show you because it's on my toilet, but that's why I've been wearing this hoodie all the time. It's a great show, I dig it, and it's kind of cold, and it, you know, it's winter time. Anyway, back to the point. Let's open this guy up. I had a conversation with the folks from Lear back in December, somewhere around the beginning of December. They reached out because they wanted to talk about some of the issues they've been having with shipping and whatnot. And they also wanted to let me know that they were gonna send me this package here. And there's a few things in it that I'm gonna get to eventually, but there's one in particular that I'm really kind of excited about. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty wicked. I got all kinds of warm stuff for Christmas. That's pretty awesome. Y'all see that? Actually, hang tight. Yeah, I'm gonna retire this uh, hoodie for a minute because honestly, I've been wearing it so much it could probably stand to go in the wash. Now let's see what's in the rest of this here. No hints on the box yet. Hmm, right. whistle holster. Hmm. Okay, so what this is, this, is a silver whistle, silver plated anyway, still brass on the inside. Otherwise, you know, it'd be probably pretty squishable, but I've never played a silver whistle. There's a couple of folks that are making these. I'm curious if my ear could tell the difference. You know, I really don't even know. It never would have occurred to me to try one, but they sent this to me as a gift and it's pretty awesome. It looks beautiful. I can tell that right away. I can tell that it's gonna get tarnished, which y'all know my motto, right? Yeah, so that's gonna be a bit of an issue for me having to actually polish this thing because it's gonna get probably pretty janky pretty quickly. So I'll have to read up on how to properly care for something like this. I'm not much of an expert on metal polishing and cleaning and whatnot, but I'll have to figure out how to do that. Let's compare it to the other standard D whistle. Hang tight, let me grab that. Boop. So at a glance, I can certainly tell a difference. It looks like it looks like an antique, which is kind of interesting. It looks like somebody's old silverware that you'd find at your grandma's house. It's got that different color that you just don't see on a, on a whistle. Um, at least I've never seen. Again, this is the first silver whistle I've ever, I've ever had. Let's compare it. Let's play a few notes on it and just see how it sounds. Basics first, I suppose. Nice. Well, like all the leers, it's very responsive, so I wasn't expecting anything less. Ooh, that's interesting. So this is the standard one. And here's the silver. really didn't think I was going to be able to tell a difference, but I absolutely can. And I like the silver a lot better. It sounds a bit more focused, which is, I suppose, more, more what I'm used to uh, with the whistles that I play regularly. I, I guess that's why I like it better. It has a bit more of that old school kind of sound that I like, uh, that I like out of my Humphreys and, and that I've, you know, that most people like when they buy or find a really good generation. Same kind of sound. It's got a bit of that, that uh, sharpness that kind of cuts through like those whistles do. Now let's compare responsiveness. And to do that, I always do my octave jumping exercise that I've probably mentioned ad nauseum. So here we go. Okay, nice and easy responsive as I would expect. Let's compare it to the standard uh, uh, Lear D here as well. Well, I really can't tell a difference there, which I suppose would make sense uh, that that sort of responsiveness is probably down more to the head joint than anything, and the, the design of the head joint is the same, so I guess that would make sense, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Both very responsible, very responsible both very responsive and easily controllable, which I was, you know, would have expected nothing less. You know, one thing I do notice, the regular D uh, tuning slide is a little loose and kind of gritty. 
it doesn't go anywhere, it works, it's fine, it's airtight, it just feels a little different. This one feels stiffer, um, which I would also say I kind of prefer. Just gives me a bit of confidence. Again, I've never had an issue with this one coming out of tune, but uh, it just feels, you know, that fitment, I guess is the word. It just feels a little bit more snug, which seems kind of nice. All right, I might be crazy, but these feel like significantly different weights, or at least noticeably different weights. I kind of need to see if I am crazy. I grab my scale again here. I've, met, I've used this guy before, but just temporarily. Okay, so here is the standard, calling it standard, D-whistle. Lear D-whistle, here we go. 3.85 ounces. Let's see if we can do some science magic. Yes, 109 grams for those of you uh, living anywhere other than the United States. Here we go. Okay, let's check the silver version and see if I'm right. I am right, 3.35 ounces or 95 grams. So I'm not sure what that percentage is. I'll do a little post-production math and that'll tell us right now. Uh, but it is a little bit lighter, if that's an issue for y'all. Um, I don't particularly find the regular whistle's weight to be a problem, but this one's a little bit lighter, which is yeah, maybe a pro for some of you. Well, let's have a tune on it and let that be the judge say. Again, responsive, hitting all those high notes pretty cleanly, I thought. That's a good sign. Um, and again, I wouldn't have expected anything less. I wouldn't have expected to be, ah, oh, this thing is terrible. It's the same whistle. It's just a slightly different material. It's good. <laughs> it's really nice. Uh, I'm, I'm a little uh, pleasantly surprised uh, at how much different the tone is between the two. Again, let's, let's blast that same tune, at least the beginning of that. It sounds great, it sounds softer. Um, I think I mentioned in my original review of the, the D-Whistle when I first got it nearly a year ago, eight months ago, I don't know, I'll put it up in the thing wherever that goes if you wanna check that out, but I mentioned that this reminded me of my old Copeland, which had a very pristine but soft kind of sound, um, and that was one of the things I loved about that whistle, and then it, it was different when I got into the, the Humphrey whistles because they had more of that old school generation sound, and I kind of grew to, to find that sound to be what I like. This sounds a lot closer to that. Still has the same pristine quality, I would say, where it's just, it's, it's clear and it's strong, um, but it's got that, I don't know, it's got that chiff, that, that generation-y kind of sound to it. And I'm just, I'm baffled. I'm surprised it makes that much of a difference. But it, it really does, at least to my ear. What do you guys think? Are you are you hearing the difference? Am I crazy? Does anybody else out there own a silver silver whistle? Has anybody bought one? And, and what have your experiences been like? This is my first one, so I'm certainly not an expert, but I'm also very impressed with it. Uh, it's lovely. Now I got to figure out how to actually clean the damn thing. You know, maybe I'll come back and do a comparison video in six months, and hopefully the thing hasn't turned brown, or maybe I'll have figured out how to properly take care of it by then. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this, and I will see y'all in the next one. Cheers.